Chapter 6, Subject to Pain. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Matthew 1, 21. Finally, one last lesson from Mary. As she and Joseph obediently took the baby Jesus at only eight days old to the temple in Jerusalem, she was greeted by the prophet Simeon. As the prophet foretold of Christ's glorious mission, he told Mary that a sword shall pierce through thy own soul also. He spoke those words to Mary, chosen above all women to bear the Son of God. Faithful, submissive, and reverent Mary would have such pain in her life. Yes, she would. I will testify that nothing causes more pain to a mother than to watch her child suffer. I would take the thorns and arrows and all the spears the world has to throw if it meant one of my children would be spared their pain. Surely no one, save God himself, suffered as much through the Savior's life and death as did Mary. And yet she had done nothing wrong. Sometimes when hard things come our way, we question our worthiness and God's love for us. When the sick child we've prayed over and sought blessings for does not get well. Hmm. You might think you're being punished. When the wayward child you've cried and pled and fasted for doesn't seem to be coming back, you may think you've done something wrong. When despite the fact that you are giving everything you know how to give, you find that your children still struggle, you may think God doesn't love you. Please know nothing could be further from the truth. Sometimes it's those whom God loves the most, Jesus and Mary and prophets and pioneers, who have been asked to endure the most. Know that when heartache comes, you are in good company. Some of the best company in all of the world, in all of time.